to John A. Logan women's basketball. Matt Varney and Tim Ritchie on the call this evening as the Lady Vols are in conference action against the Lincoln Trail States women of Robinson, Illinois. John A. Logan coming into today, one and nine on the season, 0 oh and two in the Grack so far. Lincoln Trail is five and nine. They're one and one in the Grack and hoping to, uh, well, both teams, of course, hoping to uh, get the win um, today and trying to get, uh, um, sorry, we've got a bunch of people talking around us right now and I'm not sure uh, what's going on. Let's bring on Tim Ritchie now. Just a, a big game here today for both teams, obviously both sitting under 500 and, and needing wins right now. Um, just uh, this, this is a big game for both of these teams for two different reasons, really. One, Logan's one and nine. They just need anything and everything. Lincoln Trail's trying to kind of get out of the hole they've been in the past couple of years. Yeah, they're uh, they're five and nine, so and it, sh it should be a battle. You know, uh, John A. Logan the women are playing better, so yeah. that's a good start here to get going. They their only win was at they played Danville, which is a good uh, Division two team, 62-59. Yeah, well, and they were at Mineral Area College, number 22 in the nation, uh, number 24 when they were playing, but when the rankings came out earlier this week, they were up to number 22. Um, but they played Mineral Area pretty darn tough at Mineral Area this past Saturday. 15-point loss, but it was not a 15-point game. It was, for a lot of the game, five points between the two teams, really, and just went back and forth, looked like Logan was going to pull off a huge upset on the road, talking with Coach Charlie Jones um, at, earlier today, and he, you know, told me that Briley Palmer, the head coach of the Cardinals, at the end, you know, going through the handshake line, said, you, you had a scared there, Coach, you know, and so when you're able to scare a ranked team, Tim, oh, you're, yeah. you're one and nine, doesn't matter. You're scaring ranked teams. If you're healthy and ready to go and oh, everybody's yeah. prepared, you can do stuff like put number 22 in the nation up against the wall and make them pull out all the stops. Yeah, because they're the pressures, pressures on Mineral Area. They won 62-47, but Mineral Area's only up 39-36 after three. Kind of reminded me of uh, Murfreesboro West Frankfurt game, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Frankfurt had Murfreesboro scared. Yes, High school did. level, we're going to change in venues there. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Well, Lincoln Trail comes into today. Uh, being led by sophomore Gracie Poe, who's from Bicknell, Indiana, a five foot five sophomore guard, averaging 18 and a half points per game. But if you look at the box scores, um, that's uh, kind of a low average. Uh, she's a lot of the times in the 20s to the 22, 23, uh, as high as 30 recently. Um, she she can score it, and when you go back and look at what she did against Logan last year. 25 in Carterville and 19 in Robinson. So she can shoot the ball, she can score a whole bunch, and she's going to be the big threat here today, Tim. She is. She's uh, 50, 83.9 free throw percentage. We talked about 18.4 points per game, 4.6 assists, which is really good, almost five game, 45.1 uh, from two point land. And her being a guard, you know that it's not any dunks or any like <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know it's not going to be a dunk, but 5.3 rebounds. So that's. Pretty impressive. So Logan needs to shut her down. I mean, make you know, make somebody else uh, do it. And Sissel, Emily Sissel, a guard, uh, is five foot five. She averaged 12 points a game for them. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And for Logan, uh, lately, the one that's been coming on and doing well for him, Taylor Horton out of Cape Girardeau on Saturday. She had six of seven from beyond the arc. She was on fire from three-point land. If you get her started, a lot of things seem possible for the Lady Vols. They play really yeah, good she's defense. She's had some good game. I can't remember which game it was, but she had a real good first half. Yes, she did, without a doubt. Again, Logan plays pretty darn good defense. Um, you know, the, the tougher teams have put up their points against Logan, but when you're looking at teams like Swick and even Mineral Area, uh, you know, they play good defense against these other teams that aren't Wabash and Vincennes and the like. Um, well, yeah, you play good defense. Yeah, like, it's, it's just a matter Wabash, of – Wabash, they scored 106. Yeah, it's just a matter of being consistent on the offensive end and being yeah. able to score more, and that's been the tough part for Logan today. Yeah, uh, if you to, play to good defense point. and, you know, keep the game close, yeah. then your offense might come back. You know, anything can happen if it's, a, you know, just a 
five-point game going the last quarter. Yeah, without a doubt. Well, we'll step away for a minute. When we come back, we'll hear from the coach of the Lady Vols, uh, Charlie Jones, right here on 103.5 ESPN.com. Charlie Jones before taking on Lincoln Trail today. Uh, coach, you went to Mineral Area on Saturday, uh, dueled with them. Number 22 in the nation is what it came out just a few days afterwards. So you were dueling with number 22, not number 24. Um, that got to be your best game so far, though, right, Coach? Uh, yes, a uh, uh, full game it is. Uh, and the ladies played really hard on uh, the defensive end especially. Um, and so I, I, I think that was probably the best overall from first quarter to fourth quarter that we we played all year. We played pretty good against Kirkwood the first half in mm -hmm. State Fair to about the third quarter, middle of the third quarter. And so um, – and then Danville we played pretty good as yeah. well. Um, but overall with the the competition and, and uh, um, on someone else's turf like that, mm -hmm. Um, that was probably the over, overall better game that we've had this year. Getting Ensley back, you could tell there was a big difference. How, having her, um, you able to easily break the press because she's a really good ball handler, not to knock uh, Patricia or, or Taylor or anything, but Ensley just kind of is a fantastic ball handler, especially for someone her size. She's very uh, versatile. She can play inside. She can play outside. She hit a couple threes for us. Uh, handled the pressure, like you said. Uh, rebound. Uh, she's very long. She, uh, you know, calls some some uh, shots to not fall for them approaching the uh, the goal. And so she does a lot of good things for us. So yeah. Taylor six for seven from beyond the arc. I know you're not going to get that every single time out. Um, but is that something clicking for her, or was that more of an anomaly type of game? Um, that's uh, that's really who Taylor is. And uh, when she settled down and trying to figure out from coming from high school uh, to this level, uh, the speed of the game and the physicality of the game and those things. But uh, what, what you saw is really, really Taylor. Uh, she just was struggling. Hit yeah. that freshman wall there for a little bit. So, uh, Lincoln Trail tonight, as I said, um, they're a top 50 team in three-point shooting in the nation. Um, not 31%, uh, but still top 50. But as we talked just last week, you're a top 10 team on perimeter defense. So um, I imagine that would be a pretty good aspect uh, between these two teams. But uh, uh, what do you make of the matchup? Um, we, we match up pretty good with them. Um, they they are really good shooters, like you said, on the three point line on the perimeter. Uh, so we got to make sure that we don't um, allow shooters to get a chance to to sit there and and, and see the goal. So we got to make sure we get after it a little bit. Um, you know, they're they're talented. They they're physical. They're big, um, and so you have to be prepared for that. And uh, Gracie Poe is their big threat. They've got two double digit scorers. She's the main one, she's averaging about 18 points a game. But really, when you look at the box scores, it's more she's probably averaging 22, 23 a game. She's had a couple bad games. Um, but she's right around that 25 area, had a 30 once or twice as well. Just, um, you know, is is she the key to stopping them, or do you have to also focus on Sissel? Uh, you have to fo focus on both of them. You, um, I mean, of course, you poll, you got to make sure you, you know where she is. Mm -hmm. Um she does a lot of different things. She, she may bring the ball up the floor or she may not. She may um, be the third option, you think, and lure you to sleep. And then next thing you know, bam, she's getting to the basket. Um, so you got to know where she is all the time. And, uh, and so, but any one of them, uh, as you know, could, could have a great day. You know, anytime you come out and you're not mentally prepared, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Mm -hmm. You got a chance to get yourself beat there, so you got to be prepared and and know what you're doing and have a good game plan. So, well, and if she has one of those 25, 26, 30 point outings like she's had uh, several times this year, mm -hmm. if if she has that, but Sissel and everybody else remains in double uh, single digits, pretty good chance to win still. I, I believe so. I believe so. Uh, sometimes you you have to tilt your hat to someone's best player mm -hmm. sometimes. Uh, it just depends, but you cannot allow people at this level to get going. Mm -hmm. And if they do, you got to make sure that you really pay a lot of attention to them and then continue to maintain the others. Thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you.
is one of the most important parts of this job. You can't really go wrong here. Anything you want to learn, you can learn it here. Whenever I started the program, I didn't feel too 110% about it. Like I wasn't sure how I was going to do, but that's what makes me confident. It's the teacher and the students that I'm surrounded by. Hey, welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Lady Vols, Charlie Jones on the pregame show. And as you may have heard him mention on the interview, uh, well, we talked about it, 31% from three-point land from Lincoln Trail. That's 48th best in the nation. I didn't realize this at the time. Logan Sports a better three-point oh, wow. percentage what was that again? than... They were uh, how many what percent from three? They're, they're at 31% from three, uh, which is 48th in the nation. Okay. I did not realize this, but Logan Sports a better three-point average from beyond the arc. They're number 34 in the nation at 32.4%. So nice. Logan, in terms of both the three defending it and shooting it, Tim, pretty darn good club. It's just putting everything else together. And we saw it happen on Saturday with them playing great defense against Mineral Area. Didn't walk away with the win, but you were very encouraged by it. The team was healthy for the first time really all season long. And so if you put together the defense, three-point shooting, and the healthiness, you like your chances against uh, a lot of the teams in the Grack. It's just putting it all together at this point. One well, and it's nine. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to have a game, too. Yes, absolutely. Like the, the man, yeah. they got a game over Thanksgiving because they had a big break. So, so it's nice to have a break. Yeah, yeah. But I one mean, and nine. Come back, I mean. Yeah, one and nine in, on the season so far. Not necessarily representative of how good this club could be. Oh, and two in the Grack, not necessarily representative at all, as well. Uh, you hope that with the break, with everybody being healthy now, things are going to start turning Charlie Jones and the Lady Balls' way. Uh, Inslee Tedeschi back from Benton. So yes. Six yes. foot uh, forward. And, and, you know, men's basketball, six is pretty tall. It's like 6'10 in oh, yeah. men's basketball. Yeah, without a doubt. Six foot four is a pretty tall uh, woman. And so uh, we hope the best for her. Uh, six points coming back uh, off the bench for Logan at Mineral Area. She played a lot. Uh, a little known fact about her that Mineral Area learned was that she can handle the ball. And wow. so as long as you got her, you're going to be able to break a her lot brother, of press. Her brother's a good, fine player. Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah. Six foot nine. Yeah, Dr. Tedeschi is a pretty darn good player. Doctor, right. Yeah, Dr. Tedeschi, he's pretty darn good. He'll be going to a good college in a couple of years. Oh, uh, but yeah, Ensley, just as high the loan. Yeah, yeah but, but the thing that – the brother and the sister share is they're both tall, but they're both ball handlers. And uh, just to have someone that can handle the ball and be that size, uh, it's a threat. And I'm sure Charlie Jones is going to make use of it, without a doubt, this uh, this coming rest of the season, Tim. Oh, yeah. So Charlie Jones, is he wants to mold these you know, freshman come back for next year. And he's got a good recruiting class, great recruiting yeah. class coming next yeah, year. So he's very he'll excited. Think, he'll think things turn, but here to get some wins and play play well and play hard, hustle. And that's a good start. Yeah, without a doubt. Starting lineups coming up. We're back in 30 seconds on 1035ESPN.com.
Gymnasium just about ready for John A. Logan women's basketball. They take on Lincoln Trail tonight. Lincoln Trail comes into this one five and nine, one and one in the crack. Logan is one and nine, zero oh and two in the crack. And we've got opening lineups coming up here in just a second. Lincoln Trail will be the first team announced. Here comes the Lady Statesman. First off the bench is Hannah Dawson. She averages six rebounds per game. That's their leading rebounder. Amonye Allen, a sophomore forward, five foot nine out of St. Louis, Missouri. Number 10, Awa Jawara, a freshman center, six foot three. She is from the Gambia out of West Africa. Gracie Poe is their leading scorer with 18 and a half a game. She's a five foot five sophomore guard out of Bicknell, Indiana. And Emily Sissel rounds out their starting five. She's a freshman guard, five foot five out of Fort End. Indiana, she averages 12 points a game. For the Lady Vols, coming to this one, looking for their second one of the season, first in conference play. First off the bench is Samaya Johnson, a six foot sophomore center. Samaya averaging six points and four rebounds a game. Yeah, she's also uh, 40 percent from three point line. Yeah, she's pretty good out there. Taylor Horton out of Cape Girardeau, a freshman guard, five foot seven. She had six threes on Saturday against number 22 Mineral Area. Cheyenne Trotter, a six foot sophomore center out of Springfield, Illinois, went to Landfair High School. She averages seven rebounds a game. Patricia Dalasowskis, a five foot seven freshman guard out of Lockport, Illinois. She has four points and two rebounds a game. And Jersey Biddle out of Marion, Illinois, went to Marion High School right down the road. Five foot seven freshman forward. She is averaging uh, seven and a half points a game for the Vols. That's your starting lineup for the Lady Vols and for Lincoln Trail as this one's just about ready to begin. Stick around after this game. John A. Logan men return to action for the first time in about a month as Coach Tyler Smith-Peters is just passing by me and Tim. Well, and one of these uh, officials in the ball game uh, refereed at uh, OLMC last night. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Eighth grade game tournament, yeah. regional tournament. They're right all now. over the place. Yeah, too. So all over. And then they go to junior college yes, tonight. Yes, they do, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've listened to several uh, Referees talk about you know where they end up in the junior college, high school, junior college, high school. Sometimes yeah. they have weeks like that, just nonstop. Trotter and um, Jawara are going to be in the circle. Tip is up. Trotter wins it on over to Biddle. Gets it on over to Thomas Sauskas. It was Jawara who went a little too early and made it easy for Trotter to get the uh, get the bounce. And Thomas Sauskas was looking for a. Pass and Gracie Post steals it away, sends it up and in. She's got the first bucket in this one. She'll have many more. Inbound to Tomasowskis. She'll bring it on up. To the left on the near side, going to the wing. Pass on over to Horton at the volleyball line. Top of the key, out to Biddle. Right wing three from Jersey. It's off the rim, no good, and Poe gets the rebound. Poe calls for play number five, crosses the timeline. Passes on over to Dawson on the left side. Gets into Jawara, who almost lost it, and going to go out of bounds. It'll be Logan Ball after the turnover. Good defense by Logan. Yeah. 9-12 to go. Not the best pass there either, but you'll take it. Thomas Auschwitz will turnover. bring it on up. 9-05 like to go. 1-2 to the yeah. uh, half-court trap. I would say so. Biddle passes on over to Horton on the left wing. Thought about the three. Gets on over to Biddle, top of the key again. Biddle. And, uh, Johnson open inside. Yeah. Horton top of the key. Three is a little offline. Goes off the backboard. Rebounded by Biddle. Going to go out of bounds. And this will stay with Logan. We'll call her peanut Biddle. Huh? 8.48 to go in the first quarter. Logan trails 2-0 against Lincoln Trail. Johnson into Trotter. Down to Johnson. Shot, uh, gets Was looking for Biddle. Goes out of bounds off of a 
Lady Statesman. Lucky, and lucky, the ball <laughs> went off. She wasn't expecting the no. State, wasn't expect to go right. The state, state women or state men? The, the ball was thrown where nobody was standing. Yeah. Into Trotter again, down to Johnson. Johnson goes into the paint, flips it up with the right hand, rattles down. Tamaya Johnson finds a bucket for the Lady Vols. It's two to two, 8.35 to go in the first. Poe's gonna bring it on up out of the backcourt. Looks to her left, to her right, to Jawara on the right wing. Jawara looking around, gets it into Dawson on the baseline. She'll bring it back out. Gets it on on over to Allen, to Poe in the corner. And she's gonna get it now over to Sissel. Top of the key, three with Johnson's hand in her face. And it's airballed and goes out of bounds. And here's another look if you're watching on the stream. Johnson in the paint finds the right hand layup. Meanwhile, Patricia Tomasowskis brings it on up across the timeline, on over to the left. Down to Trotter, got poked out by Jawara, but Tomasowskis breaks it back out. Here is Horton on over to uh, Johnson, down low to Trotter. It's wide open, up and in. 4-2 lead for Logan as the clock dips below eight minutes in the first. Nice pass by Johnson. Great Six. job there, yeah. Here is Poe, standing in the circle. Looks to her left, to her right. Gonna bring it on over, trying to get it to Sissel. Sissel has it now, brings it to the top of the key. Flip on over to Allen at the volleyball line, to Poe on the right wing. Poe bounces down low to Allen, working against Johnson, looking around, got double teamed. Out to the corner for Sissel, a corner three, it's no good, poked out. And it's gonna be Logan Ball after a push foul on Allen. Over the back, good rebound, good box out. First foul in the game goes to Amonye uh, Allen. I like, I'm, like the start by Logan. Yeah, it's a pretty I mean, good start. I mean, it might not mean much later, but it's a good start. Well, you know, it's it's not the most explosive start in the first two and a half minutes, no. but you don't need that. No. Here's Tomasowskis, bounce on over to Biddle, top of the key, over to Horton on the right wing, was thinking about the three, but it closed and closed. Down to Trotter, send it up and in, she's got four. Another assist by Johnson. Well, I'll tell you what, Tim, if you can get Cheyenne Trotter going up to double digits, oh, you're gonna well, have a good day. We've seen her have great games, yeah. and have seen games that she wasn't there. Yeah, you, you need her to be there every yeah, time if you want to have right. a good game. Here is Sissel on the left wing working against Johnson. Johnson's some great defense. Pass on over to the corner. Now skip into the corner to Poe. She's going to drive past Thomas Chowskis. Sends up the right wing, uh, rather the right hand, no good. Rebounded by Trotter. She'll bring it on up herself. Cheyenne across the timeline. Flips on over to Taylor. Taylor, blasting pass. Here's a floater. Right hand up and in. Great job by Horton right there. 6.30 to nice go. Drive, yeah, yeah. Good start. Six, 6.25 to go in the first quarter. Logan leads by six. Poe at the volleyball line. Going to get a pick from Dawson. Going with it. Going inside. Over to Sissel. Going to try to curl inside. Steps back. Gets it on out to Allen. Down low to Dawson. And Horton closes in. Back out to Poe on the right wing on the skip pass. Trying to blow past Tomaszowskis. Goes back into the paint. At the, out to Sissel. Uncorked top of the key at the buzzer. No good. And Trotter had it. Got poked out. And it's going to be Biddle that gets the rebound. Jersey passes on over to Johnson. Stop. Sends it up. No good. It was too strong. And Jawara had it. Stolen away. Tomaszowskis pokes it away. And Samaya Johnson gets the steal and up and in. Johnson's got four. If your two forwards are doing stuff like that and they both got four points for you already, oh. Tim, man, oh, man. It makes a difference to get that inside game going. Lamonia Allen passes on over to Sissel. She's going to go to the left to the right. Down to Allen, sends it up. And Trotter found her, blocked it, but she got her own offensive rebound. Trotter gets the defensive rebound after the second chance misses. Horton out to Tomaszowskis, baseline jumper off the back iron, no good. Biddle almost had the rebound, but it's taken away by Poe. Five ten to go in the first. Poe's coming down. She's got the only points for Lincoln Trail. Here's a three from Sissel. That one rattles around, no good. Jawara going to track down the offensive board and sends up a baseline J. That one's no good. Poked out, and Biddle's got the board. Three boards by Biddle. 4.55 to go. Marion native. Biddle steps into the paint, up and in for her. And Zach Wall, the head coach of Lincoln Trail, says, I got to call a timeout. Logan leading 12 to 2, 4.49 to go in the first quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on 145 ESPN.com. Hi, guys. TJ Cowan from Cold Blooded. Coming to you, wanted to introduce the Cold Blooded Single Barrel Smokehouse. here at Johnny Logan College. 
you guys are used to our coffee, now come check out our food. Not your average college, not your average food. Black Friday savings all month long. When you come over to Carbondale, to Chris Offenberg, Buick GMC. Chris has the savings you want now. Drive away in the GMC Sierra with over 8,000 off. And you can also take advantage of 0.9% financing and no payments for 90 days. And Chris also has the Buick Encore for a super low $199 a month. So don't wait and come in now for Black Friday savings all month long at Chris Offenberg, Buick GMC, and Carbondale. Advantage Offenberg. Our students are employed. On Don Brewer Gymnasium in Carterville. John A. Logan College leading Lincoln Trail in this women's basketball game 12 to 2, 449 to go in the first quarter. Tim, John A. Logan's on a 12 0 run. That well, might be the first time of the season. It's the first time in a long time they had a 12 to 2 lead. I mean, yeah. I don't care, remember the last time. It, it's the you best know, start it's had women, that they've yeah. had a while. Oh, yeah, so great, great start. Look at them. That's good. And that, and that he, now you can tell you know, right now, hold them off because yeah. they're going to make a run. Yeah. Gracie Poe's going to bring it on up. I, I missed a few games at the start of the season, Tim, but I think this might be the best start of the season. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, too. Down low, get it out to the corner, and some new faces have joined. We'll get those names Tedeschi to you shortly. about got a steal. Yeah, Hensley Tedeschi is them. poking Tedeschi it out, finally does get that steal, and gets bumped as well. And a foul goes against Sarah Mills. Hensley Tedeschi and Genesis McDonald are into the game for John A. Logan College. Sarah Mills, one of the new statesmen. Here is Thomas Sauskis down to Trotter. She got fouled and will go up to the stripe for two shots here in just a moment. Sarah Mills picking up her second foul quickly. 4.20 to go in the first quarter and Logan trails 12 to two. Also out there is Neo Trim for Lincoln Trail and checking in is Jabria Lacanze. First one up, no good for Trotter. Trotter shooting 66 percent from free throw line, which is a lot better than last year. Much better. Yeah. Can't remember what it was, but wasn't good. Trotter will be inbound, or rather, uh, sending up the second shot here. Sends it up, and it's short. And Horton's going to try to track it down. She does on the far side, and it's going to be over and back. Tomaszewskis touches it as it goes across the line. Couldn't get it to anybody, and so a wasted possession there by the Unforced area. Yeah. yeah. An empty possession is what that empty ends up being. Empty possession, you're right. It will be Trim inbounding right in front of us. Tedeschi defending. Trim gets it, passes on over to Poe in the backcourt. She'll bring it on up. You can tell she's already winded, Tim. Oh, Poe. Yeah, Poe's yeah. already winded. Yeah, that's great. Right. There's Lacaze inside for Dawson, backing down against Horton, stops, gets it back on out to Sissel, top of the key, trying to get it inside to Trim in the corner, getting poked out. Tedeschi with those fast hands, out to Poe on the far side. I like Tedeschi already with yeah, quick hands. Yeah, great. Poe with a spin move on the outside, bounce on over to Dawson, going inside, here's a jumper, no good, poked out, and Trotter has the board. On out to McDonald at the other side, over to Tomaszewskis, sends up the left hand, no good, rebounded by McDonald, up and in. 3.30 to go, Logan leads 14 to two on their home court. So yeah. Johnson getting ready to check in. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And Tomaszewskis takes the ball out of the air and she's got nobody behind her, sends it up and in for Patricia Tomaszewskis. Once again, Zach Law says I gotta take a timeout. 16 to two the lead for Logan, 3.16 to go in the first quarter. We are back in 30 seconds on 103.5 ESPN.com. Our students are employed immediately. Sometimes they are employed before they get their associate's degree. I have a position working in early childhood. Dr. Marilyn Tolliver, my professor, uh, was able to really prepare me to be able to teach in a classroom um, as a lead teacher. To see them interact and engage in what I'm teaching now is life changing.
go in the first quarter. Logan out to an amazing first lead, 16 to two. They have not been doing this all season long, but man, it is good to finally see this kind of get put together, Tim. Oh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm like a Tedeschi. I'm you know, not just on offense end, but still the ball. She had one still, almost another. Bo goes from coast to coast, and here's a whistle now as she was getting ready to shoot a basket. You know what, the situation, Lincoln Trail, yeah, I don't know if they, they played some good competition, but probably not good as competition yeah. Logan's played. Well, they've played some, some similar the teams. Yeah. they played Mineral Area, Three Rivers, Vincent. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I saw some of that. Yeah. But again, not like they had any no, different they results. they played well, though. Yeah. You're right, they did play well. But, but again, every, every tur one turned out to be a loss. Here is Poe, sends it, waits, sends it up. That one no good, and gets her own rebound. Curling back into the paint, gets it out to Dawson. Dawson trying to get back down and poked out. Samaya trying to force it out, and it's going to stay with the Lady Statesman. And Poe looks on over to Zach Law and just had a look on her face that kind of was like a, what do you want me to do out here? Allen looking to inbound. And going to lob it on up to Lacaze and flip on over to Poe, top of the key. Sends up the three, uncorked, and she ends the drought. It was a 16-0 run for Logan the past about six minutes. 2.40 to go. Logan leads it 16-5. Poe's got all of Lincoln Trail's points. Here is Genesis McDonald over to Horton. Right wing sends up the three, trying to answer it. Off the back iron, no good. Tedeschi gets the rebound. Out to McDonald, back into Tedeschi. Back out to Horton, top of the key. And she's going to pick up the dribble now, sends it up. That one, deep two, no good. Rebounded by Poe. She's doing it all here for Lincoln Trail. Top of the key for Poe, driving to the left. Out to Allen, left wing three for her. Off the iron, no good. Samaya Johnson's going to get hit with a push here as Lacaze almost had the rebound. I've seen some uh, worse than, yeah, I mean, fouls than that. 2-10 to go. Tedeschi's going to have to shoot that shot. She had a little 10 oh, yeah. twice. She Cash will, once she gets a routine. Lakaze sure. comes out, Jawara comes back in for Lincoln Trail. 2-10 to go. Allen on the baseline looking to inbound. Bounce into Jawara, and she ends up on the ground and almost got it over to Mackenzie Love but poked out by Genesis McDonald, and so it'll stay with Lincoln Trail as they inbound again. 2.05 to go, Allen's gonna inbound on the far baseline side. 16 on the shot clock when play resumes. Allen looking around, trying to get it in, and get, oh, stole away by Johnson. She tried to get into Jawara, but forced it, and Johnson was there to intercept it. Johnson driving in and poked out. It's gonna be a reach here on, I think, Dawson. I don't think she was shooting. No. I would take the shot. That too. was, that was uh, just on the foul. On the foul. Fourth team foul as Dawson picks up her first. 16 to five. Lob into Johnson, out to Tedeschi, top of the key. And now Swit skips on over to Horton on, into the corner. She'll bring it around, top of the key, gets a pick from Thomas, sends up the three, and that one switches in. She's been looking for it, and she finally found that three. 19 to five, Logan ahead. 1.35 to go. In the first, Logan, uh, rather uh, leading, 19 to five. Love goes to the left, trying to get to Poe, and Thomas almost stole it away, but Poe picks it up off the ground, and just trying to shake off the Lady Vols there, just buzzing around her. Into Dawson, on out. Allen has it off the floor, and back on over to Jawara at the free throw line, sends up a floater in the paint, no good. Poked out, it'll stay with Lincoln Trail. Thomas touched it last, I say. Tomaszowskis and Trotter come in for Johnson and Horton. Mikaze's coming in for Jawara. 113 to go. Sissel's coming in for Love. It will be Allen inbounding. Monia Allen going to be inbounding here in just a second. She has the ball, looking around now. Four on the shot clock when things restart. Out to Sissel, corner three. It's too strong and ends up right at the hands of Trotter. That's our fourth one this quarter, fourth rebound. 105 to go in the first. Logan leads it 19 to five against Lincoln Trail. Tomaszowskis out to Tedeschi in the corner. Thought about the three steps inside, avoiding the defender. It was a little short and Lacaze gets the rebound. 
Poe will walk it up. Gets a call from her head coach, Zach Law, and across the timeline she goes. 15 on the shot clock, flip on over to Allen, gets it on over to Sissel on our side. Bounce down low to Lacays. it's loose, and Cheyenne Trotter with the steal, gonna bring it on up, on over to Thomas, sends it up, got blocked, and will go to the foul line after Dawson fouled her. Yes, it will be Dawson, it will be her second, that'll be the 15th foul. So with 30 seconds left, Logan ends up in the bonus. Now Thomas to the line, number 22. From Chicago Heights, Illinois. Yeah. India Harris making her first appearance of the game from Murphy's Bro. Tedeschi will take a seat. Trim also comes in as Dawson takes a seat. Well, if you can get recruits from Chicago area and St. Louis there, you're in good shape. You know, good players. Yeah. Thomas at the stripe. First one up. Bounces off. No good. Currently six. Vols have scored in this one. Thomas trying to become the seventh. She's in the scorebook, but no points for her yet. Pretty good crowd here today. Yeah, second one up for Lanai is good. She's got a point. 20 to five to lead for Logan with 30 seconds remaining. If Lincoln Trail has any offensive fouls here, Logan does go to the stripe aside from a few uh, fouls, but most of them will send them to the stripe. Here's Poe down low, sends up the right hand, bounces off, no good. Trotter gets the rebound with 13 seconds remaining. Here comes Thomas Schauskas now across the timeline, on over to Thomas, inside to Harris, sends up a turnaround jumper, it's no good, and Lacaze gets the rebound. Here comes Poe with three seconds to go at the half court line, sends up the three, and it's off the backboard, no good. At the end of one, Logan leads Lincoln Trail 20 to five, looking for their first uh, conference win of the season. We are back in a minute on 135ESPN.com. My name is Lee Eklund. I'm the center director for Malone. Basketball, second quarter beginning. Logan leads Lincoln Trail 20 to five. Zach Wall just had a huge outburst on his team. Basically telling him, come on out and play. Come on, let's go. They're all talking about when they're gonna eat tonight. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Neo Trim for the Lady Statesman gets it out to Sissel, top of the key, driving in. Left hand up and good for Sissel. She's their second leading scorer at 12 points a game. And she's entered the scorebook now. Logan leads it 20 to seven. Now Lincoln Trail had the first bucket in the first quarter as well, and then uh, Logan won on a 16-0 run. So let's see what happens this quarter. Yeah, maybe so. Down low to Cheyenne Trotter. Wait, send it up. It's good for Cheyenne. She is up to six points today. It's 22 to seven. Here comes Poe. Gracie Poe across the timeline, averaging 18 points a game. She's been known to score up to 30, though. Driving to the right, to the left. Trotter trying to poke it out of her hand. Out to Sissel, went behind her. Horton's taking it away. Taylor's gonna bring it on up. Out to Trotter, sends it up, it's good. Trotter's up to eight. She could have dunked that one there, Tim. She had plenty of room. Oh, yeah. And I know she's got the height for it. Logan leads it 24-7, 8.45 to go. Out to Allen on the far side. Biddle defending. She'll bring it to the right. Bounce on over to Sissel on the far side. Sissel, bounce on over to LaCase. India Harris steals it away and runs into Sissel. Picks it back on up though, and gonna find her way down to Trotter at the other end. And it's too strong. Gets her own rebound though, up. No good, and it's taken away by Allen. Too easy looks, you can't have that happen there, Tim. No, that's for sure, you need to score that. Here is Poe, free throw line jumper. Swishes in right there. That's how good she is. It was yeah, so you know, we get her loose. 
That was silky smooth right there. Yeah, she'll start hitting some. So. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And seeing the look on her face, she's stressed right now. She doesn't know what to do. Domaszowska skips on over to Horton. Uncorked left wing, and it's too strong. Neo Trim gets the rebound, gives on over to Poe, and she'll walk it up. 7.50 to go till halftime. Logan leads it 24 to 9 against Lincoln Trail. Poe at the volleyball line. Gets a pick from Trim, going to the left, gets it out to Sissel in the corner, gets a pick from Poe, runs into Tomaszowskis on the floor, and now has to get rid of it, and it's gonna be a jump ball. Tomaszowskis locks it up. It's gonna be Lincoln Trail ball, I believe. No, it'll be Logan Ball. Yeah, good play by Patricia from Lockport, yeah, Illinois. 7.31 to go. Trotter's gonna take a seat. Coming in for Samaya Johnson, and you know why Samaya's in there and Cheyenne's taking a seat, because she missed those two open looks out there. Yeah, Hort. she's watching. Yep, here is Tomasowskis in the corner, back on over to Horton, top of the key, goes to the right wing with Poe defending. Tomasowskis top of the key, right hand dribble, pulls up, sends up the jumper at the free throw line, no good. Harris gets the rebound in the paint, sends up a floater, that one is no good, and Horton gets the rebound, sends up a floater, that one's no good. Johnson gets the rebound, she got pushed, and that will be an inbound play. That'll wow. be... Great job by Logan getting the rebound. Yeah. That's, That's Poe's first foul. First team foul in the second quarter for Lincoln Trail. Harris gonna take a seat, Tedeschi's coming in for her. 7.03 to go. It is an inbound to Biddle, corner three from her. Oh, just a little off. It should have rolled down, but decided to bounce up instead. Rebounded by Trail, and here now is Dawson. Stops at half court, gives on over to Poe. 6.52 to go. Poe at the volleyball line. Not sure what she's seeing out there. Just gonna go herself. Drives in on the baseline, out to the corner to Dawson. Back out to Poe, corner three. Tedeschi's hand was in her face. Rebounded by Horton, and here she comes with Sissel to beat. Gonna set up on the left side and getting trapped now. Out to Tomaszowskis, over to Biddle, top of the key. Driving in against Dawson, sends up a shot. That one's no good. Poe comes down with the rebound. Poe breaks through the defense, bringing it down, trying to make a fast break score. Out to Sissel on the right wing, steps to her left, sends up the three, and it's no good off the back iron. Horton fighting for it, and it's Jawara getting the rebound. Back out to Sissel, top of the key, uncorked for the three, and it rattles off no good. And being fought for, Tedeschi gets the push foul as Jawara was coming down with the rebound. Oh, they're gonna say it's on Biddle. Biddle, yeah. That's her first they're foul. Both, they were both there. Yeah, and Tedeschi came roaring in. It looked like it was certainly going to be her with kind of an elbow almost to the face. 6.07 to go in the first quarter. Logan leading 24-9. We're back in a minute on 135ESPN.com. My name is Lee Eklund. I'm the center director for Malone's Early Learning Center. you got to have that love and passion and being able to come here and see how rewarding it is to have a child learn how to tie their shoes or have a child learn how to stack blocks. It's, it's so rewarding. When I was at John A. Logan, it really gave me the mentality of we're coming in to teach the children, not to watch the children. And so it taught me the importance of engaging with them, becoming one with the classroom, and really having that involvement there. Welcome to Mackey's. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Six oh seven to go in the second quarter. Matt Barney, Tim Ritchie on the call here at John A. Logan College. The Lady Vols leading the Lady Statesman of Lincoln Trail twenty four to nine. Wanted to. Bring the attention to uh, Charlie Jones' upcoming recruiting class of 2024. He's already gotten two freshmen for next year uh, committed from Kentucky that look like they're going to be great additions to the club. Um, also, he's told us that he's got a transfer coming in that'll be a sophomore next year. I don't. I think she'll still have two years of eligibility at the Juco level, Tim, 
Um, it is Kembry Lathery, a six foot three forward. She's from Pleasure Ridge Park. So he's been hitting the Kentucky areas real hard. Oh yeah, as long as, you, as, long as they can play. Yeah, and every single one he, he's excited about. And there's a few more he's told me about that he hasn't gotten any commitments yet from, but he's like, I think we're gonna get him. And he's very excited. Inbound to Dawson, sends the first one up, no good, gets a rebound, sends it up again, no good. It was a line drive, rebounded by Samaya Johnson, and here comes Jersey Biddle now. Gets it out to Tomaszowskis on the right wing, over to Biddle, top of the key, inside to Tedeschi, over to Johnson, sends up the right hand, it was a little short, and it's going to be brought down and fought for on the floor by Tedeschi. Couldn't prevent it from going out of bounds, though, and Dawson will inbound. Gets it on over to Gracie Poe with 5.45 to go in the half. Custodian uh, Monts, he could have kicked that back in for him. Yeah. Here is Emily Sissel on the near side. Being defended by Biddle. Moving to the left, to the right, bringing it to the right wing. Trying to get inside, out to Jawara, top of the key, driving in now. Back out to the corner, and now it's going to be back out to Sissel. It's too strong, though, and going to go over and back. Yes, it will be over and back. Sissel touches it before Biddle gets there, and so it'll be Logan Ball here. Sarah Mills is back into the game. She's the one that was over in the corner for Lincoln Trail. She had two fouls in the first quarter. Horton's going to inbound on her baseline since that's how far the ball went on the over and back. Looking around and going to lob into Johnson at the top of the key. Out to Horton. Right wing three, and it's a little too offline. Jawara gets the rebound, and she'll bring it on up herself. Stops, and now gets it Horton on over went up Poe. there and almost got the off. Yeah, she the nearly did. Good hustle. She almost got the steal, too. Sissel on the left wing, looking around, inside to Mills, poked around, this could be, a, oh, it's poked loose, they're gonna maybe jump ball it here. I think, I think it it's gonna be a reach, actually. Biddle. Yeah, Biddle's gonna get hit with her second foul. Oh, she did. That's Logan's second team foul in this quarter. Logan leads it 24 to nine with 4.57 to go in the first quarter uh, half. Biddle takes a seat. These uh, these quarters, by doing five fouls, cut down free throw shooting. Yeah, yeah. Tomaszowskis comes back in. Here is into Jawara in the corner, looking to get a pass off, almost stolen away, but it is taken away by Dawson. Dawson, top of the key, looks around, Horton defending, on over to Sissel with Trotter defending her. And Sissel gets a double pick inside to Poe against Tomaszowskis, turn around, right hand up, no good, and rebounded by Johnson. Logan leads it 24 to nine, 430 to go in the first half. Tomaszowskis on the left wing, looking around, gets it on over to Horton, going to the right wing. Horton sends up the three, and that one's no good. Johnson gets the rebound, and it's gonna be jump ball, actually. And it will be trail ball. Donald coming in. Yeah, Thomas Schaus is gonna take a seat. 4.22 to go. I thought he was going to take Horton. That was a pretty long shot. Yeah. <laughs> NBA, yeah. If you make it. I wasn't too sure about it. She yeah. can make it out there. She's, yeah. She isn't feeling it today. Yeah. But she's she already made make, one. Yeah, she can make it 33% of it. Yeah. Well, she can make more than that. I think she's sitting in the 40s right now, yeah, actually. Well, well, here's Mills on the far side. We'll tell you about... Uh, Horton's three-point percentage when we get a second. Here, Sissel gets a pick from Mills, going to the left side, driving in now to the baseline, down to Jawara, back out to Mills, top of the key, three, and that one switches in for her. Yeah, Sarah Mills on the three. Yeah, Horton's averaging just a tick below 44%. Oh, great. Right. Now, six for seven on Saturday will help that percentage, oh, yeah. without a doubt. For sure. Here's Tedeschi, right wing, thinking about the three, back out to Horton, top of the key. 3.35 to go in the half, inside to Trotter at the free throw line. Back on out to Tedeschi, uncorked for the three. Oh, just a little offline again. Poked out, it's gonna stay with Logan though, as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, every three point shot Logan is taking right now, just not going down. Yeah, they're good shots. Oh, as long as you got an open shot, you're good. I mean, we talked, we talked about it in the pregame. They are top 35 in the nation yeah, for three point shots. Yeah, great. Here is Harris, free throw line jumper, air balled. And goes out of bounds. 3.22 to go in the half. Logan leads it 24 to 12 against Lincoln Trail. Gracie Poe's gonna walk it on up. Coming up at halftime, you'll hear from the men's coach, Tyler Smith-Peters, who was on Talking Ball Sports last night with Mike Murphy. Jawara on the right wing, swings on over to Sissel, top of the key, goes to the left, and poked out by Tedeschi. Sissel's gonna pick it on up though. Sissel 
Top of the key, spinning, getting inside, on over to Poe. And now it's going to be a jump ball again. It'll be Logan Ball. 2.58 to go in the half. Logan only scored four points this quarter so far. Yeah, it's not been as nearly of a good quarter. Meanwhile, it's been seven points for Lincoln Trail. So neither offense has been really clicking in this quarter. McDonald, top of the key, steps, gets it on over to Horton on the right wing, driving in, baseline jumper from Taylor. That one no good. India Harris walks away with the rebound, though, gives on over to Trotter. It's too strong. Andrew Warwick gets the rebound. Oh, yeah, nice, easy layup. It's not easy if you yeah. don't go in. Just, there's a lot of easy shots here that Logan's taken, and they're either not falling their way or just too strong or too short. Just, I, I don't know exactly what's going on here. Calibrate your shot, I guess. Ball goes out of bounds on a miscalibrated yeah, pass. pass. Yeah, Sissel on the, on the turnover. Logan inbounds, 220 to go in the half. Logan leads it 24 to 12. And they're lucky that they're still leading by double digits here, Tim. Yeah. Horton great, great start. on the far side over to Tedeschi inside. To, oh, gets it out to McDonald, sends up a jumper. That one no good. I think they were aiming for Trotter. Bypassed her somehow, yeah. and yeah, McDonald right was behind there. Her. Yeah, right behind her. Luckily, McDonald was there, yeah, but perfect pass to her. I, I think the intended target was Trotter. Yeah, they did. Poe driving in, gets past McDonald, get, runs into Horton. Now it's triple team, loses it. It's going to steal for Trotter. Here comes McDonald now, across the timeline, on over to Horton, and she gets tripped up. And that wasn't a shooting foul, but I would believe that they're going to be inbounding here in a second. Foul is on. Dawson, her third. It will be an inbound from Taylor Horton here in just a moment. Sarah Mills comes in as Dawson takes a seat. Inbound to McDonald on the right wing, getting double teamed on over to Horton, top of the key. Poe defending, gets it on over to Trotter. Now it's McDonald on the right wing, back into Trotter. One bounce, send it up. That one is good. And that was with two people with hands in the face. Trotter's got 10 on the day. 26 12 lead for Logan, a minute 25 to go in the second quarter. Oh, being defended by McDonald, stops at the volleyball line. And Horton steals it away. Oh, they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. She's right in front of us and nearly stole uh, it away. I was getting ready to catch it. Yeah. Nice look here if Good you're watching hustle. the stream from Cheyenne Trotter here, getting that nice little lay-in. Mills going to inbound right in front of us. And going to get into Jawara, top of the key. Jawara pivoting around, and there's a push on McDonald, her first. That's the third team foul for Logan with 13 to go in the half. Mills will inbound. And Charlie Jones is saying, do not let Gracie Poe get the ball. They're going to find it to Gracie Poe, though. And Poe now on the left side into the paint, backing down, and Trotter almost stole it away. Back on the ground, Poe gets it, sends it up, no good, and Trotter gets the rebound. On over to Taylor Horton, bringing it up, got Mills to beat, and spin move, sends it up, Jawara blocks it, and it's going to be Jawara getting the rebound as well. Well, good block. Yeah, that was a great block. She was right there, came from behind. Horton didn't see her coming. Poe's going to bring it up with 45 seconds remaining in the half. Logan leads it 26 to 12. Logan's only scored six in this quarter. Top of the key, on over to Mills. Horton almost stole it away. Mills out to Allen in the corner, brings it around. Now it's Sissel, top of the key, driving in onto the block. And now stop back out to Jawara. Top of the key, two. That one's no good, and Trotter gets the rebound at the buzzer. Here comes Horton, and it's a wide open court. Sends up the left hand. It's up and in for Taylor. Seven points for Taylor Horton. Looks like Horton got spiked her face. Yeah. And Tedeschi steals it away, and she's going to get it. It almost could have been over and back between her and McDonald. Mcdonald sets up for the 10 footer. No good. Trotter gets the rebound up and in for her. She's got 12 heading into the halftime break. Logan leads at the half, 30 to 12, an explosive final minute to get 10 points in that uh, quarter, Tim. Logan leading by 18. Boy, it all right at the last minute. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you, you get a nice little run there at the very end and you'll take it. Uh, just seven points for Trail there in the second quarter. Logan gets 10 from their uh, players. We'll step away for 30 seconds, be back with the halftime show right here on 1035ESPN.com.
Hey, uh, the uh, second part of the Vol season starts tomorrow night. It's a home game, 7 o'clock against Lincoln Trail. Now, uh, I'm going to start here. Now, uh, I talked to Charlie Jones earlier tonight. He's already had a game. Uh, he, he beat you to the punch. He had a game uh, at Mineral Area, uh, I think it was last Saturday. Uh, they got beat by 15, but they played very, very strong. They they were right there at the half. Mm-hmm. They were right there after three quarters. Their defense was much, much better. Um, so we were talking about, you know, how this team that's one and nine right now might be ready to start passing out some lumps. Same thing. I'm going to ask you the same thing because your team uh, played a brutal schedule early, and all of a sudden now, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to yell this too loud, but. Uh, you know, you guys, uh, the Johnny Logan men, are one game from the 500 mark. Now, a lot of people say, oh, uh, but also you are 2-0 and in the conference, and you're working on a nice little three-game winning streak as you start back uh, in the GRAC and play Lincoln Trail at home tomorrow night. Yeah, no, and it's, as we like to call it, it's the second season <laughs> or the second half of the season just because we have such a, a big break in between. But, no, I think that's that's the reason why we have a difficult non-conference schedule playing eight top 25 teams um, is for that reason, is just getting ready for the time that we need to be ready, and that's February and March. And um, with a young team, team like this that we have this year, it's just to keep progressing in the right direction and, uh, keep learning and moving forward. And then I think I've got, our guys have done a really good job of just on the wins and losses of just learning of what we need to do better, how hard we need to play every single second. And so, as you said, Murph, we're 2-0 and in conference right now and looking to, get, looking to go 3-0 and and off to a really good start for region and conference play. Now, December the 9th uh, coming, that's a Saturday after the 9th you lost to Triton, 96-87, you came back and beat Southwest Tennessee, 81-56. Then you went on the road to Belleville on December 13th and beat Swick, Southwestern Illinois, 83-69. to Impressive, yes. Then you had a home win uh, against Wabash Valley, 60-57 uh, to on December 16th before the break. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, what's different now on the basketball team than when you started the season and struggled. What's what's the one thing you see now that says, well, we're doing this now? Um, I think the biggest thing with the younger, with a, having seven freshmen is just the experience of, like I said, just knowing how hard you have to play and how physical and how much of a different speed college basketball is um, than high school basketball. And I think that's the biggest thing is <laughs> – as we tell our guys, if we're standing straight up on defense, you're probably going to get hurt because you're going to get hit by a legit screen and you're going to get knocked over. Um, but just those kind of kinds of things and the the communication, I think, is a huge one. Like last year's group, we were really good at it because we had a lot of experience. Um, and with this with this group this year, we need our experienced guys to step up and be leaders um, to help our freshmen out and to let them know that they have to talk 24-7 when it comes to being on a basketball team, especially if we want to be a really good basketball team. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, because I did a game, I did a Carterville game, uh, DMAC got sick, and I had to go up to Chester and do the Carterville-Chester game, and and, uh, Caden Hawkins was there, and he came up afterwards while I was interviewing his dad, Shane, who also played, uh, college ball at SIU, like you did, and I said something about the Logan team, and we got off onto a little, a little discussion, a little riff there during the during the high, high school post game show about John A. Logan, and and Shane was saying, well, you know, Caden, you have to understand that, and you just said it, it's you step up that level, it's faster, it's more physical, and and you some people adjust to that, some people struggle and finally get it, but other people get it a little quicker than others. And I remember we talked about, you know, you said Caden was, was going to be a pretty good player and, and he had all the fundamentals he should be. He's a coach's kid and, uh, and things like that. But there's, there's some, some things on there that you're looking at now. Uh, one of the things is the seven footer Elliot Lowndes. My goodness, how he's been playing at a different level since six weeks, eight weeks ago. Yeah, no, and I think that's helped us out tremendously. And I think, as we've all, as all of our, the coaches here have told Elliot, is and he'll be 
could be a pro if he'd be able to get in the shape that he needs to be to be able to play the minutes that we need him to play. And I think he did a really good job towards the end of the semester, end of the first half of the season is just playing as hard as he possibly could and not worrying about the things that he can't control, like the foul calls and all that. And I think that's what really helped him. And we're looking for him to keep building on that. And for Hawk, obviously, like you said, Murph, it's a coach's kid and, I think the biggest thing with him is he doesn't want anybody else to outwork him, whether it's on the court, in the weight room, in the classroom, and those are the types of guys that you want on your team because those those are the winning aspects that it takes um, to be a really good player. And um, he has that in him, and for him to get the experience he's getting and playing as much as he is, I mean, he's just going to keep helping us on the court every game. We mentioned Elliot Lowndes on your front line, but I also want to talk about Isaac James and Cameron Boone because that's some beef. And Isaac James has been doing some mystical, magical things along that baseline where he can score with either hand. You think, well, he's too far underneath the basket. And he leans out and flips that off the backboard. And Cameron Boone is uh, is getting to be much more physical and, and seem seeming to enjoy it a little bit more. Um, are you happy that, I mean, the... the where the team is is progressing right now, you got to be satisfied, right? Yeah, no, we're. I think um, the way that we're progressing is in the right direction, um, especially from the beginning of the year. Then you look at us in December. I think it looks like a completely different team. But um, but that's the thing with having a younger team with seven new seven freshmen and eleven new guys is just kind of trying to get into the mode of being able to play with each other and the chemistry aspect of it. But um, I think the biggest thing is just having those guys go hard every day and go at each other. As we like to say, we have to hold each other accountable and holding each other accountable is competing every day against each other um, the right way. And I think our guys have starting to understand that that's the way that we can get better. And we're doing a really good job in practice of being able to do that. And as we always say, in the as a coaching staff, whatever we do on the, in practice, it translates to a game. There's in college and and trying to be a pro. There's no there's no more such thing as being a gamer. You have to be able to practice and play um, the right way. Before I get a little <clears throat> thumbnail sketch on Lincoln Trail, uh, I just wanted to to throw in a little personal note. Uh, we uh, were all kind of hit in the gut uh, recently when the um, announcement came out about a former Logan assistant coach. He was with you last year, Tad Andrews. Uh, who passed away, found unresponsive uh, in his bed in the morning, um, and and he passed away at age 30. And that that's just just saying that, uh, you know, immediately just really punches you that somebody that young uh, is taken away from you so quickly. Um, but uh, I know, you know, the Logan family, uh, that there were a lot of people that were kind of startled by that, and I just wanted to, you know, get, get your take on that. Yeah, I think uh... – it's a very sad deal. I mean, as we all know, Ted did a really good job uh, with our team last year um, in helping us win a national championship. And I think the biggest thing is just it's a sad situation. You never want to see someone that has a bright future in coaching um, go that way. But uh, I think the biggest the biggest thing is we have to just well, – every day is a gift and we have to take advantage of every opportunity that we get because we never know – when it can be taken from us. And Absolutely. So I, yeah. Yeah. I, I and think I, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. I met his mother and father out at the nationals last year and mm-hmm. they kept coming around every game and, and talking to yes. Tim Ritchie and, and me. And I, I really felt like I got to know them. And I, I immediately thought of their grief when, when I heard the news. Um, all mm-hmm. right, we got about three minutes left. Let's, let's, uh, uh, a very sad situation, but I want to end on an up note. If I can Lincoln trail, they're four and eight, they're Oh, and two in the league. They've lost three in a row. They're zero and five on the road, and I know what you're going to tell me, Tyler Smith Peters. You're going to say you can never underestimate anybody in the GRAC, and we're going to have to come out and play very, very hard and very, very tough, or they'll beat us. And you're absolutely right. I've been around long enough to know that these guys mm-hmm. can be zero and five on the road and come in there and just stomp the crap out of you. Yeah, no. And Junzi, their coach, does a really good job, and they're kind of like us in the way of they're really young. Um, they have a lot of freshmen, so they're still trying to find their way but as you said Murph it's college basketball um we've seen it time and time again if we don't take one opponent serious then it can bite us in the butt and so we have to 
take it game by game and um, go in with the mindset of that's the game we're worried about. We're not worried about Saturday or any game after that and just take it game by game and try to go 3-0 and in conference. Yeah, I wasn't going to mention Saturday, but you made me do it. Uh, Saturday, you guys. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Yeah, Saturday, you guys are at Vincennes, right? We are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, you win this game, and then you start thinking about Saturday because, hey, I'm ne- and they may be listening right now, but what do I care? You know, they can't beat Logan. They they haven't beat Logan in, in about, what, two, three years? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's just say it. Let's just say it and put it out there. Surprise. Yeah. Let's just yeah. say it and put it out there. But tomorrow night is a seven o'clock tip. We'll hear it right here on 103, and you're probably going to, tomorrow you're going to grab me by the shirt and say, why did you say that about we haven't beat Vincennes? I'm going to say, it's a radio show. I'm <laughs> no, trying to no, get people excited. Um, yeah, that's part of it. But Lincoln Trail, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Tim Ritchie and I will have the call starting at about 645 on 103.5 ESPN. We're thrilled. I'm thrilled. I don't know about Tim. Tim's usually thrilled about popcorn. Uh, but we're, yep. we're thrilled uh, to get back on the air and get going and I know you are too, Tyler. And, uh, hey, I don't want to take any more of your valuable time. Slide back over in front of that big 75-inch TV and watch uh, <laughs> Mizzou's big comeback on number 6 Kentucky. Thanks for the visit. Thanks, Murph. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. All right. And that is uh, Tyler smith Peters. the only auto collision program in Southern Illinois. Uh, there's nobody else that offers it. We draw students from all over because there's just nobody else that offers the programs. The student-teacher relationship is one of the most important parts of this job. You can't really go wrong here. Anything you want to learn, you can learn it here. Whenever I started the program, I didn't feel too 110% about it. Like I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but that's what makes me confident. It's the teacher and the students that I'm surrounded by. Welcome to Mac. How can I help you? Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half price cheese bre- uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for seven forty nine. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Here at Don Brewer Gymnasium, Matt Varney and Tim Ritchie on the call. Eric joins back in the River Radio studios and LeBlanc Production helping to bring you the stream on Facebook. If you're watching that, thanks for watching. If you're listening on our 135ESPN.com stream, thank you for listening. Uh, love having everybody listen and could not do what we do with all the behind the scenes people. Me and Tim just show up and we talk. It's everybody That's else right. putting in the work. Putting the setting up the equipment helps. Yeah. John setting up the equipment for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He does a big help here. Lincoln Trail is going to get possession to start, but Tomaszowskis is going to steal it away on the inbound. Jersey Biddle sends up the shot. It's no good. Samaya Johnson gets the offensive board. Up and in for Samaya. She's up to six on the day. And when you steal it away, that's what you want to do, Tim. It doesn't matter how many times you take that shot, in my opinion, on a turnover. Just make sure you come away with the darn 
bucket. That's right. And here's another turnover, turnover by uh, Poe, I believe. I yeah, was Poe, she, yeah, she was, uh, she got, got fell down and yeah. ball went out of bounds. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> Biddle inbounds to Tomaszewska. She will bounce inside to Trotter, back on out to Horton. Now it's with Tomaszewska at the volleyball line. Pass on over to Biddle on the right wing. Over to Johnson, uncorked in the corner, and that rattles down. She's out to a quick 5-0 lead. String music. 5-0 run all by uh, Samaya Johnson here. Oh, looks like they called it. Yeah, it's a three-pointer there in my opinion. We're going to put it down for three, but the scoreboard says two. Oh, it does. Here is Sissel, top of the key, three to answer. It's in and good. She can shoot the rock. Without a doubt, she averages 12 points. It's now 35 to 15. Here comes Horton at the volleyball line over to Biddle, left wing three, and that swishes in as well. They're getting everybody involved here. Biddle's a good pure shooter. Look at uh, Lincoln Trail coming back up to yeah. Oh, pole. 37 15. Here is Sarah Mills driving in, flips up, blocked by Johnson out of bounds. That was a clean block right there by Samaya. Yeah, it was. That'd been a rip off the goal foul on that one. Yeah. yeah. 8 40 to go in the third. Logan leads it 37 to 15. And Mills going to get it into Sissel. Emily Sissel bounces back over to Sarah Mills in the corner. She's going to go to her left. And in the Poe, in the paint, back on out to Sissel, top of the key, driving to the left, out to the corner for Allen, corner three, and it's too strong. Johnson gets the board, and Samaya will bring it on up herself, says, come here, Taylor, she'll give it on over to her. 8.20 to go in the third. Taylor Horton, top of the key, into Patricia Tomaszewskis, got poked out and stolen away by Allen, Ammonia Allen bringing it on up, and Cheyenne Trotter steals it away, on over to Tomaszewskis, gets it on over to uh, Samaya Johnson in the corner, now it's Horton, on the left side as they reset. 25 on the shot clock. Logan leads at 37-15. Here's a three from Biddle, it's too strong. And Allen gets the rebound. Give on over to Poe. Here is Sissel, left wing three on court, and that swish is in. Can't leave her open. No. On the break. No, you gotta break. get back and defend right away. 37-18 lead for Logan. Sissel's got all the points yeah, here. This lead could dwindle the way they can shoot. Yeah. Sissel's got all the points for Lincoln Trail here in the third quarter. Tomaszewski is over to Horton, who is just drifting over to the left wing, uncorked, and it's off the back iron, no good. And it's gonna stay with Logan after poking out. It was Jawara that poked it out. Here is Biddle's three that happened just a moment ago if you're watching the stream. Man, that was silky smooth. That was, and Logan's got you know the right to get an open three, but work yeah. the ball, try to get inside and get some good shots. Logan leads at 37-18, 7.28 to go in the third. Horton gonna get it out to Thomas Schausses in the corner, driving inside, floats it over Jawara, it's up and in. Four points for Thomas Schauskas as Poe will come across the timeline. To the right, working against Tomaszewskis. To the left now, pass on over to Sissel. Head fake, driving into the paint now against Horton. Sends up a jumper, that one bounces around and goes down. She's got eight points in this quarter. She had two in the first half. Big play. In the first three minutes, she scored eight. Here is Biddle on the left wing. Looking around, Sissel defending. Skip on over to Horton, bounce down to uh, Samaya Johnson. Turns up and blocked out of bounds by Jawara in the strangest fashion of blocking I've ever seen. That's been a, that's a weird block, but yeah. it was a good block. Yeah, she didn't even get her hand up. It was more to the to horizontal and just saw where Samaya was going with it and blocked it out of bounds. Jawara's averaging five rebounds yeah. again. She's pretty good. Yeah, she is. From Gambia. Anna Dawson comes in for Mills, bounce into Samaya Johnson, and now goes in and got uh, poked out. It'll stay with Logan as another inbound play is coming. Didn't really like that uh, inbound pass right there because it went into the defense more than it went to Samaya. Yeah, it hit off the defense. Dawson picks up her fourth foul as soon as she comes in, and now here comes Neo Trim as Dawson takes another sit, uh, sit down. 6.44 to go in the third. Horton looking to inbound and lobs it out to Biddle and gets it at half court. She'll give it over to Tomaszewskis as play restarts. Top of the key, bounce on over to Biddle on the right wing, sends up the three, it's a little offline. Johnson gets the rebound, bounce over to Trotter, it got blocked, she'll go to the stripe. Johnson with another rebound. Yeah. 
And it will be on Jawara, her first. She's trying to catch uh, Trotter. She's got six rebounds total. Eight for Trotter. Second team foul for Lincoln Trail. Lacays comes back in. Sit down Jawara. Here is Trotter's first one up. Rolls off, no good. She's got 12 today. Tedeschi came into the game as Johnson took a seat. Trotter got a good excuse. They worked on that rim here before the game started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Second one up for Trotter is good. She's one for four at the stripe today. String music. 13 minutes or 13 points rather for Cheyenne, and Pose bringing it up across the timeline and swings out the Sissel corner three on court off the iron, no good. And Horton's chasing it down, picks it on up on the near side, gets it on out to Trotter, sends it up that one, bounces around, no good. Tedeschi got the rebound on over to Trotter again. Out to Horton. Right wing three, it's good. Horton swishes it in. Ten points for Horton. It's 42 to 20. Logan leads it with six minutes to go in the third. Poe, top of the key. Curling into the paint, and here is a whistle on. That's going to be on Tomaszowski, her first. That'll be the first team foul for Logan as well in this quarter. Lenaya Thomas comes on in for Tomaszowski. And the legendary Mike Murphy coming on in now, getting ready for the men's game. Yeah, against Lincoln Trail. Yeah, he's going to slide up on me, I imagine. And an inbound play. Finds no Lincoln Trail player, and it'll be Logan Ball now. Jersey Biddle will inbound to Taylor Horton. 5.58 to go in the third quarter. Logan leads it 42 to 20. Horton across the timeline as Biddle comes right behind her. Horton to the right to Biddle on the right wing. Back on over to Horton, drifting on over. Top of the key inside the arc. Backs on up. Out to Thomas in the corner. Thomas brings it around to the wing, inside to Hor uh, Trotter, down to Tedeschi, sends it up and in for Ensley. Good pass by Trotter. Yeah, without a doubt, good assist right there. 5.30 to go in the third, Logan leads it 44 to 20. 14 points in the first four and a half minutes for Logan. They had 10 in the second quarter. Here is Poe, trying to back down against Thomas, and drives in, sends it up, that one is good. Somehow, some way, she got down there, Found a way to get the bucket good, in. Good defense on yeah. her all the time without fouling. She oh. is determined, and I give her credit. She is trying her darndest right now to get Lincoln Trail back into this one. She has got nine of the 22 points of Lincoln Trail. 5.18 to go. Here's the and one from Poe. Rattles off, no good. Trotter gets the rebound. Here comes Horton across the timeline at the volleyball line. Being defended by Mills. And still at the volleyball line. Over to Biddle, 15 on the shot clock. Pass into the corner for Thomas. Down low to Trotter, sends it up. Got fouled, they didn't call it. Offensive rebound is Trotter's. Back on out to Horton in the corner. Drives in, out to Biddle, top of the key. Three on the shot clock, sends it up. Off the iron, no good, and Lacaze gets the rebound. Pass on out to Trim, poked out by Thomas. She's got the steal. Thomas drives up, floats it up. That one's no good, and a foul called here, and Lanai Thomas will get a shot at the stripe. Thomas from Chicago Heights. Emily Sissel takes her first foul, 13 foul for Lincoln Trail, and a timeout. Logan leads at 44-22, 4.37 to go in the third. We're back in a minute on 103.5 ESPN.com.
Welcome back to John A. Logan Women's Basketball. Matt Varney and Tim Ritchie on the call. Eric joins back in the River Radio studios helping to bring you today's broadcast. The Blonde Production Group is also bringing you the stream on Facebook. And just a, a great game here for the Lady Vols here uh, through three, uh, two and a half. Tim, Logan leads it 44 to 20. They're looking like they're going to get their second win and first yeah. conference win. And uh, the situation, they've got to keep on, I want to you know, put their medal to the pedal and, and uh, go after it. You know, don't lose up here. But yeah. you know, teams that you've been losing have tendency to do sometimes, or any team. Right, yeah. Lanaya Thomas is going to the stripes. She will shoot two. She's got one already. She went one for two at the stripe earlier. First one up for Thomas is, goes in. Nice job there. Nice hit that first one. Logan with 15 points in this quarter. Here comes the second one. Up and off the rim, no good. Rebounded by, it's on the ground. And Trim has it, and it's going to be a jump ball as Tedeschi gets tied up. Logan going to keep the ball with 4.33 to go in the third. 45-22 the lead for John A. Logan College. Charlie Jones in his first year as head coach. He is 1-9 for the Lady Vols head coaching job. Hoping to improve that, and as we get into the second half of the season, he'll have about 12 more opportunities plus any postseason opportunities. You'll have at least one more, so 13 Logan, more with yeah, the Region Logan, 24. Logan go, what, one and two in conference to get this win? Yeah, they'll be one and two, and they'll be feeling probably pretty good after this one. Oh, yeah, especially Played Mineral Area lead. very well on Saturday, and now you're taking Lincoln Trail out behind the woodshed right now. Here is Tedeschi, right wing, pass on over to Genesis McDonald. Now it's over to Horton on the left wing. Steps to the right, on over to McDonald. Inside to Tedeschi, out to Lanaya Thomas for a jumper. That one is good. And was that behind? No, that was inside the arc right there for Thomas. She's up to four. Tedeschi with the assist. Yes, sir. Here is Trim on the left wing. Pass on over to Mills. Oh, Tedeschi's going to get the steal. Here she comes to the other end. Trim to, uh, coming behind, and she's going to foul her coming on up. The question is, is that a, a shooting foul? Yes, I'd say it is. I think it was as well. Oh, Trim going to pick up her first foul. Her third steal. That's yeah, she's been, she oh. is versatile. She does just about everything that you can think of. Play post up by the way. Yeah, she can play one through five. 4.04 to go as Tedeschi steps to the stripe. Logan leads at 47 to 22. Sissel's going to take a seat. Allen comes on in. Tedeschi is looking for her third and fourth point here. First one up is good. I was watching Monty say good, and you knew it before I did. Yeah. <laughs> before the break and before Tedeschi had her uh, injury, she was shooting 62.5% at the stripe through about three games. She got hurt at uh, Three Rivers against Moberly area in mid-November. Second one up for Tedeschi is good. Four points for Tedeschi. 49-22 the lead for Logan with four minutes to go. Into Mills, gets it on. Oh, poked out by Taylor Horton on the pass attempt. Here she comes to the other end. She got fouled on the floor, and this will be a, a, a pass in. Her second steal. Horton from Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Mills picks up her third foul, although they're going to have to probably keep her out there because Dawson's got four, and they've been the two kind of swapping between each other. That is the fifth team foul for Lincoln Trail in this quarter, so Horton goes to the stripe. First one goes up and in. The strange music. She's up to 11. Couldn't make the money from the three-point line like she did on Saturday, so going to the stripe seems like the nice next answer. Second one up and in for her. She's up to 12 today. And a foul called on Lanai Thomas. Must have been a push, I think, is what it was. 3.55 to go. Third team foul for Logan here in this quarter. Into Poe. Poe going to bring it on up across the timeline in front of us. And now top of the key on over to the top of the key for uh, Sienna Looks Epps. Like Poe double dribble, too. Yeah, Poe on, on the far side now, being defended by Thomas. 18 on the shot clock. Brings it to the left, on over to Allen, top of the key. Allen going to the left, getting a pick from Mills, on over to Epps on the left wing, inside to LaCaze. 
Back and down against Johnson, sends it up and in. What a nice move. Jabriel Lucay is into the scorebook, just the fourth. Lady Statesman to get a uh, bucket here today. Get any points, in fact. 2 3 zone from Lincoln Trail right now. Here is McDonald back out to Tedeschi. Horton inside, down to Johnson, back on out to McDonald. Top of the key, three from her. Swishes in, knocks it down nicely. Five points for McDonald, and Logan's now pressing. Into Epps. Taylor Horton's going to hit with a foul, though, as she knocked into her. No ill intent there. Horton picks up her first foul. 14 fouls here in the quarter for Logan. 3.03 to go in the third. Logan leads at 54-24. If we were at a high school game, Tim, we'd be talking about a running clock. Oh, yeah. Allen last half. into Poe across the timeline. Left wing driving in, steps back out against Tomaszewskis. And now letting things get set up. Out to Epps at the volleyball line. 2.54 to go. 20 on the shot clock. Left hand dribble inside. Gets it on out to Mills. Baseline jumper off the back iron is no good. Trotter gets the rebound, and McDonald at the other end now, stepping in against Epps, a right hand up and in. Oh, a nice move by McDonald. She brings quality minutes off the bench, and Tomaszewskis pushes against Poe on the inbound, and it's going to send Poe to the line. That was a not-needed foul there. Well, we got uh, five fouls, team fouls, so we're shooting on the fifth and yeah. shooting on the sixth. Biddle's coming in as Tomaszewskis, I think. No, Horton, I think, will take the uh, seats. Yeah, Taylor Horton's going to take a seat here. Tomaszewskis has two personal fouls. That's the fifth team foul here in the third. 2.35 to go in the third. Logan leads at 56 to 24. Poe at the stripe sends the first one up. It's good. She's one for two at the stripe today. Missed an and one earlier this quarter. Second one. Goes up for Poe. It's short. Biddle gets the rebound. On the season, Poe is shooting 83.9%. Down low, it's Patricia Tomaszewskis. Gets blocked by LeCays, and it'll send Tomaszewskis to the line. On the season, she's 100% at the line. Hasn't gotten too much uh, uh, action at the line. But I think six for six, I believe. I believe that's what it is, yeah. Not a lot of attempts down there, but she's still getting the opportunity here. Up and in. She's got five today. Once you get 10, 10, that's good. Here comes the second one. Up and in. So she's eight for eight now on the season. One more attempt, like you said, that'll get her to 10, and you'll yeah. kind of get an idea of where she's at. Yeah. Sienna Epps across the timeline. McDonald defending. Passes on over to Poe on the left side. Gets a pick from Allen. Going to take it. Top of the key. On over to Allen on the wing. Pass over to Epps in the corner. Epps brings it around to the right, and now curling into the paint, poked out by Tedeschi, but LeCays gets it, and now it's Sissel with it on the right wing. Five on the shot clock, driving in, baseline, and now back on out to Allen. Two on the clock, sends it up, and it's off the back iron, no good. Trotter gets the rebound. Cheyenne across the timeline, over to Biddle on the left side. Gonna go in against Poe, back on out to Tomaszewskis. Here's a jumper from 20 feet, it's good. 60 to 25, Tomaszewskis has a total of Eight points here, six in the quarter. Minute 35 to go in the quarter. Here is Emily Sissel, gets a pick from Poe, going around to the volleyball line. Out to Allen on the left wing. Poe uncorked in the corner, sends it up, and it rattles down, rolled around as well. Yeah. Suction cup in there. Yeah, up to 13 on the day. She's gonna get her points, but it's a matter of, is it gonna be enough? Tedeschi. Down low, over to Trotter, sends it up, too strong. Poe gets the rebound. Good pass by Zadeski. Minute five to go. Logan leads it 60 to 28. Epps on the volleyball line. Pass on over to Sissel on the left wing. Tedeschi defending, going to the right. Top of the key now to the left. Almost lost Tedeschi. On over to Allen Low, goes out of bounds. It'll be Logan Ball. 51.6 on the clock. 60 to 28, the lead for Logan. Tedeschi takes a seat. So does Trotter as Johnson and Harris come on in. Biddle gets it in. McDonald lets it roll up and then picks it up. On over to Biddle on the right wing now. Being defended by Mackenzie Love. Pass on over to McDonald. Top of the key into India Harris. One bounce and lost it. It's on the floor now and it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to be Lincoln Trail ball. 
I 39 guess, seconds uh, to go. Yes, uh, Thomas, not Tom, uh, Harris is on the line again, out of bounds line. Allen passes on into Love, poked out by Tomaszowskis. It will be trail ball again as they'll try to inbound once again. Allen on the stride, or rather on the baseline. Looking around, trying to get it into Epps, I think. And not satisfied, gonna have to just poke it on out. And it's loose, Epps gets it and now kicks it to the other side. Goes out of bounds and it'll be Logan Ball. A little higher on that kick, it been a field goal. Yeah, really. 34.9, inbound to McDonald across the timeline. Randy Smith-Peters entering the building to see the men's game. Here is Jersey Biddle on the right wing, on over to McDonald, to Tomaszowskis on the left wing, back over to McDonald, top of the key, inside to Harris, turnaround jumper, no good, and Love gets the rebound. Mackenzie Love on over to uh, Sienna Epps, pass on over to Sissel, left wing three, it's too strong, and rebounded by Tomaszowskis with five on the game clock. Here comes Harris, three on the clock, down to Samaya Johnson, sends it up at the buzzer, it's too short. And Logan leads it at the end of three, 60 to 28. That was a 30 point quarter for the Lady Balls. We're back in a minute on 135 ESPN.com. only auto collision program in Southern Illinois. Uh, there's nobody else that offers it. We draw students from all over because there's just nobody else that offers the programs. The student-teacher relationship is one of the most important parts of this job. You can't really go wrong here. Anything you want to learn, you can learn it here. Whenever I started the program, I didn't feel too 110% about it. Like I wasn't sure how I was going to do, but that's what makes me confident. It's the teacher and the students that I'm surrounded by. Head into the fourth quarter, John A. Logan College leads Lincoln Trail 60 to 28. Matt Varney, Tim Ritchie on the call. Eric joins back in the River Radio Studios, LeBlanc Production Group, helping to bring you the feed oh, on yeah, Facebook. It's nice to us to watch it here off, oh, yeah. off the feed. I, I'm watching, looking stands here, and I look to see a former great Benton player, jo Johnson. Oh yeah, played for uh, Danny Johnson. Played for Benton High School. So he might oh. be watching Tedeschi or something. Being from Benton. Sure, sure. Cheyenne Trotter has 13 points. Taylor Horton has 12. Those are your leaders in points for the Lady Balls. Gracie Poe, who's got the ball right now for Lincoln Trail, has 13 herself. Sissel, Emily Sissel, who now has the ball on the left wing, has 10. Gets a pick. Going to drive inside. Loose ball in the paint. And now back on out to Jawara, top of the key. Out to Allen in the corner. Going to bring it in. Back on out to, oh, poked out by Taylor Horton. And Poe takes it away in the backcourt. Gracie Poe across the timeline now, top of the key. Inside to Jawara, drives baseline, sends it up too strong, and Johnson gets the rebound. Walk too. Horton will bring it across the timeline. Out there with Horton is McDonald, Johnson, Tedeschi, and Tomaszowskis. Tomaszowskis bass on over to Horton, top of the key, left wing three from her, and off the iron, no good, Allen gets the rebound. Amonia Allen passes on over to Gracie Poe, and she'll walk it on up out of the backcourt. And she is just completely just distressed. She's, she's the star for him, but nothing's oh, working for him today. She's worn out. Yeah, she's, she had to play the entire game. Stolen away by Genesis McDonald. Here comes Samaya Johnson to the other end. Poe to beat, sends it up. That one is good. Samaya Johnson. She's up to 10 on the day. 62-28. Coach Johnson, you know, playing, playing stars a while because, you know, they have been in a situation a long time. Yeah. A couple years. Poe, top of the key. Can't get it over to her running mate, Sissel, and so she's gonna just do it herself into the paint. Sends up the right hand, up and in. 15 points for her. 8.25 to go. McDonald across the timeline, top of the key, on over to Horton on the left wing. Trying to set things up with 22 on the shot clock. Inside to Tedeschi, free throw line. Sends up the jumper, that one no good off the iron. Rebounded. He shoot that shot. Yeah. Rebounded by Jawara, and here now comes Sissel across the timeline. 
Emily Sissel to the left against Tedeschi. Gets it on over to Dawson, out to Poe in the corner. Poe sends up the three-pointer off the iron. No good, poked out. And Allen Horton fighting for it. Horton has the rebound on over to McDonald. Brings it on up, right hand up and in for Genesis McDonald. She's up to nine. Here it comes now Poe walking it on up out of the backcourt. 7.35 to go in the game. Logan leads at 64 to 30. Stick around after John A. Logan women's basketball wraps up. The men's game will be ready to go. Anna Dawson driving in, bounce to Jawara. Down low, turn around, send it up, no good. Uh, Jawara gets the rebound, sends it back on up. That one's no good, and Johnson gets the rebound. She'll bring it on up herself with Poe behind her. Gets it on over to Horton on the far side, and they'll reset. 7-10 to go in the game. Here's Tedeschi, left wing three, and just off the front iron. McDonald gets the rebound, sends up the right hand hook, no good, and poked out. Poe's going to track it down. Gracie Poe bringing it up with Tomaszowskis to beat on the fast break, sends it up, bumped into Tomaszowskis. I can't believe they didn't call a charge there, honestly. Poe gets the points, though, and a timeout called. 6.55 to go. Logan leads at 64-32. We're back in 30 seconds. Hey, welcome to Mackey's Pizza. Uh, every Monday night we have half-priced cheese, bre uh, cheese breadsticks. Uh, Monday through Friday we have a great lunch special. We can get eight-inch pizza, a, a small salad, and a drink for $7.49. So come out and see us and uh, enjoy everything at Mackey's. Here in Don Brewer Gymnasium in Carterville, Matt Varney, Tim Ritchie on the call. Logan leads it 64 to 32 against Lincoln Trail. Uh, it's going to need a miracle to happen for Lincoln Trail to make the comeback. So Logan should be picking up win number two on the season and one in the Grack uh, under Charlie Jones, his first season as head coach. It'd be a major meltdown if something. <laughs> yeah. What happened? But Logan's playing well, and Coach Jones wants him to play the whole game. I'm sure he get uh, substitutes in. Everybody wants to play well. Yeah, without a doubt. Coming up next for John A. Logan women's basketball Saturday, they head to Vincennes, who for them. Uh, a little bit of a down year under Harry Meeks, seven and seven no on kidding. the season. Wow. Just seven and seven. You know, yeah, it's, that's not good. That, that's that's not basketball. that's not what they normally do. That'd be good right now for Logan Wynn or something like that. Yeah, well, you know, if they're gonna play this way. Yeah, they play who this knows? way, gonna win a lot of games. Y you would hope that you know, if they're gonna play this way, they they'll give them a fight in Vincent's if nothing else. Oh yeah, they should. Cameron Howie ball, making yeah. her first appearance in the game. Here is Howie on the right wing, sends up a deep two. That one's no good, and Poe gets the rebound. Gracie Poe brings it on out. Tio, or Neo Trim had it, lost it. Cheyenne Trotter stole it away, and Logan's going to bring it on up now with 6.30 to go in the game. Trotter saying run it back. Three on over to Howie. For Trotter. Horton in the corner now. Back on over to Howie, right wing. Pass on over to Biddle, top of the key, over to Tedeschi in the corner. Sends up the uncorked three, and it's an air ball. But Horton has oh, the rebound up and in. That's yeah. a pass. Yeah. We'll call it a pass this time, just yeah, for you, no. buddy. Yeah, no. She missed you shooting that. 14 points for Horton here. A yeah, good rebound. I forgot to put her down for a rebound. 6.05 to go. Sarah Mills on the far side being defended by Horton. Pass on over to LaCaze in the corner. LaCaze inside to Poe. Poe being worked on by Howie and Trotter and Tedeschi. She brings it back on out to Four the right of them wing. There. Yeah. Curling into the paint now out to Sissel in the corner. Sends up the three. That one bounces around and finds its way down. She can shoot it. 13 points for Sissel. Horton top of the key. Pass on over to Biddle on the right wing. Gets a pick from Trotter. Opens her up for the three. Swishes in. Biddle's up to eight. That's her second three of the day. Good pass by Trotter. Poe across the timeline. Top of the key. And poked out. Mills has it. Right wing. Top of the key. Out to Poe on the right wing. Going to blast inside. Baseline. And back on over to Trim. But they call it travel on Poe. We didn't see a lot of travels here today, Tim. That's the first time we've seen it in a hey, while. Hey, don't, don't tell me about travelers. Yeah. I've, been, I've been a junior high uh, girls game, yeah. and there's 20 travelers yeah. called. 5.15 to go. Logan leading 69-35 to 35 here at home. Well, talking on pregame with Coach Jones, you know, I said, if you shut down Poe, is that enough? And he was like, you know, we'll let them get their points. Well, look at it. Only one, two, three, four statesmen have scored today. They didn't. 
they didn't worry about Poe and as, as Trotter goes up and misses a shot and rebound by the Lady Statesman, they didn't worry about Poe or Sissel. They let them have their points. Whatever they get, they get. Yeah. Shut everybody else down, and that's yeah, what they've yeah, done. You don't want somebody else scoring a bunch of When you take away Poe and Sissel, the Lady Statesman have only scored five points. Wow. Here's a floater up no good from Poe. Poked out, goes out of bounds, and it'll be Logan Ball. Looked like that was uh, touched by Cameron Howie from yeah. Chester, Illinois, yeah. from John A. Logan. Timeout call at 440 to go in the game. Logan leads it 69-35. We are back in a minute on 135 ESPN.com. Hi guys, TJ Cowan from Cold Blooded. Coming to you, wanted to introduce the Cold Blooded Single Barrel Smokehouse. Here at Johnny Logan College, you guys are used to our coffee. Now come check out our food. Not your average college, not your average food. We're back with 440 to go in the game. Matt Varney, Tim Ritchie on the call. Logan leads at 69 to 35. That's not a saying it wrong. That's the right score. That's the Johnny correct Logan. score. That's yeah. great. And Logan's the one doing the lead, and they have yeah. not done a lot yeah, of that this Yeah, people have to shake their heads. Yeah. They are playing Lincoln Trail today. Yeah, it's I a conference game. This. I thought that Logan could win, but I didn't think it'd be like this. Right, yeah. Well, they're healthy. They're playing the way that Charlie Jones wants him to play, it, it, it's going well. Borden, yeah, top of the key. Good attitude. Here is Tomaszowskis. Skips on over to Biddle, down low. One bounce, sends it up. That one is good. Biddle's, Biddle's up to 10. It's like they're for each other. Like Tadowski made you know, good, yeah. a good sign there after the assist. Here is Poe across the timeline she goes. Pass on over to Dawson on the far side. Bounce into Sissel, sends up a right hand. That one's no good on the hook shot. She got fouled, though, by Cameron Howie, and will go to the stripe. That's the first foul in this quarter, 4.09 to go in the game. Howie with uh, shooting 83.3 from free throw line, but she's not shooting it this time. Yeah. Maybe she'll get one here. That's Sissel that's going to the stripe. Yeah, the other team. Proud the crowd's coming in. Look like it's going to be a good crowd. Yeah. Not good for the ladies. Sissel sends it up. That one off the Ooh. iron, no good. Boy, she's shooting. You don't think she'd miss any. Logan leads at 71-35 against Lincoln Trail. Here comes the second one from Sissel. Up and rolls out. No good. Rebounded by Trotter. And here comes Taylor Horton across the timeline. Horton. Trotter with 12 rebounds. Out to the corner. Tomaszowski sends up the three, but they're going to say a travel. She made that three, but it gets wiped clean. Oh, they could give it to her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, we didn't see any travels for the first about three and a half yeah, you quarters. It. Now yeah, we, that's now, all we see. Wait, now we're going to see it always, yeah. Some substitutes coming in, too. Sissel on the left wing. And here's an off away from the ball uh, foul. I saw somebody flying. <laughs> Biddle picks up her uh, Jersey third. Jersey Biddle, yeah, with the foul. 3.51 to go. Logan leads 71 to 35. Sissel takes a seat, I think. Charlie Jones, Coach Jones saying, who you got this yeah. person? Poe took a seat as well. That might be the last we see of them here in this one. Yeah, Trim passes so. on over to Dawson, driving in against Biddle. Stops, bounce on over to Sienna Epps, on over to Mills, left wing three, and that one swishes in. Nothing but net. She's averaging seven points a game. No. She's got six points today. Yeah, pretty three. close, isn't it? Yeah. Horton on the right wing. Bounce on over to Tomaszowskis at the volleyball line, and they're double teaming. Trying to trap, and timeout called. 3.27 to go in the game. Logan leads at 71-38. We're back in 30 we seconds. Second timeout, Johnny Logan. Entering through Lady Balls number 22, Lamaya Thomas. Our students are employed immediately. Sometimes they are employed 
before they get their associate's degree. I have a position working in early childhood. Dr. Marilyn Tolliver, my professor, uh, was able to really prepare me to be able to teach in a classroom um, as a lead teacher. To see them interact and engage in what I'm teaching them is life-changing. Inbound right in front of us. And she will wait for things to get set up. Gets it into Lanaya Thomas at the volleyball line. Back over to Thomas. Shouskis on the right wing. Back over to Thomas. Top of the key. Stepping in. Left hand dribble. Over to Trotter. Inside the bottle. Uh, rather, Biddle driving in. Flips it up. That one bounces around. Goes down. Nice move by Biddle. She's not looking. Shoots a jumper. She can drive to the hole. She's got 12 today. 3.05 to go. Epps crosses the timeline. Working against Thomas. On the far side, stops, passes on over to Love, going to go out of bounds, it'll be Logan Ball. 73-38 the lead for Logan. Coach Jones coaching all the way here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But you should, he's, coach whole ball. He's game. intense and you know, love it. He won, he won. Down low to Biddle, mistakes, sends it up, that one's no good. Rebounded by Thomas, loose, picks it back on up. And gets it into Trotter. Trotter looking around. Tomaszewski's top of the key. Three off the backboard. Oh, no good. Horton almost got the rebound, but lost. It goes out of bounds. It'll be trail ball. 2.38 to go. Logan leads at 73-38. A lot of people in the league, they'll, they'll look at this score and think it's wrong. Uh, potentially. Yeah. Potentially. I mean, I don't know. That or they'll say, hey, maybe. I'm surprised by how much the yeah, score was. Maybe they'll say something more is going on over at Logan than yeah. we thought. A new coach, Charlie Jones. Sienna Epps in the circle to the right. On over to Sarah Mills on the far side. Step to the left, gets a pick from Trim. Down low to Trim now on the pick and go. And here's a jump ball. Or no, it's going to be a foul on Lanai Thomas. Excuse me. It looked like he was showing jump ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it looked like at first, but they call it a reach instead. 2.22 to go. Epps will inbound. Logan leads 73-38. Love is going to inbound, actually. McDonald's going to come on in for Thomas. <laughs> Love will inbound on the baseline. Looking around, bounce into Dawson, almost lost it. Here's Mills on the far side now. Driving in, back out to Epps on the right wing. Going to try to curl in, get stopped by Horton though. Trim on over to Dawson in the corner. Nine on the shot clock, finds her way into the paint. It's loose now, sends it back up, and no good, but she got fouled. 2.07 to go. And in Dawson, Brazil, Indiana, where my uh, grandma was born. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I had relatives, don't know them. Yeah. Trotter picks up her first foul. The game's the fourth team foul. Dawson goes to the stripe, gets her first points as she makes the first free throw. 2.07 to go in the game. Logan leads at 73-39. Here comes the second one from Dawson. Up and good. Biddle will inbound to McDonald here in just a moment. Trotter takes a seat as Samaya Johnson comes on. Nice effort by Trotter. Unofficially was uh, 12 rebounds. Double digit points as well, so she's got a double yeah. double. Horton with a right wing three, was a little offline, rebounded by Mills, and she'll get it on over to Epps. She'll walk it on up with a minute 45 to go in the game. Sienna Epps on over to Love, right wing, blasting in, baseline. Was looking for a pass outside to the top of the key, but Biddle steals it away. Here comes Jersey, top of the key, and going to send up a right hand, a right hand shot. Right. That one's good. Nice move. She's not only a shooter. She takes the ball to the hole and took a little baby 10-foot shot. Yeah. I've got her down for a total of... Um, total of 14 points today. Here's a leaner from Dawson, gets stuck between the backboard and the rim, and play stops. It'll be Logan Ball when they get it loose. 115 to go in the game. Logan leads at 75-40. I think they're going to use the broom to get the ball then. Yeah, whatever will work. Yep, gets loose and rattles down. Give That's our, your count. That yeah. ours? Well, you know what? Let's give the custodian the bucket. That's right. We'll get Monsinger. Minute 15 to go. India Harris going to be I told him I missed him once. That's, yeah. that's all he gets the rest of the year. Yeah. Well, now, now you've clear, cleared the check. Yeah, that's know? right. He, he paid you for one mention. <laughs> that's right. 
Here is Horden on the near side, being defended by Mills. Minute five to go in this one. Back on over to Horden on the right wing, sends up the three, and it swishes in. There you go. That's her third three of the day. She's up to 17. And Cameron Howie's coming in for Horden. I don't think Charlie Jones was happy with that decision right there. As Horden will be done for the day. Yeah. Just a minute well, gets a nice handshake from Coach Jones, and maybe yeah. he was happy with it. I don't know. He's got a scowl on his face whenever he's coaching a game. You never know what he's thinking. <laughs> yeah. That's he's serious. Good. Down low to Dawson, sends it up, no good, gets her own rebound. Up, no good, but she gets fouled with 49 seconds left on the clock. It will be on Howie, her second, and that's the 15th foul in the quarter. Does that get her in the scorebook, Howie? Oh, she, she's been in it because okay. that's her second. Second foul, okay. First one up for Dawson. I don't think turnover counts. Yeah, unless you're counting them. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> unless you're counting them. Yeah. Then you're in the scorebook. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's true. First one missed by Dawson. Here comes the second one. Up and off the back iron, no good. Poked loose. Harris had it, but Dawson tracks it down. He's running out of bounds. Here is Mills driving baseline, gets it on, out to Love, sends up a floater, it's up and in. Mackenzie Love gets a last second point to get into the book. Yeah. Didn't call it. Just the fifth in. trail player to get into the book. 30 seconds remain in the game, 21 on the shot clock here is Tomaszowskis. Skip on over to Howie, they're gonna try to milk this for all it's worth and bring it down to just seven seconds left in the game. Like I'm looking for Howie to take the shot here. Yeah, well here's Tomaszowskis. Volleyball line, eight on the clock. Here is Harris in the corner, back over to McDonald. Tomaszowskis, top of the key, three, and that rattles down. 11 points for Tomaszowskis on the day. Nine seconds to go as Epps will walk it across the timeline. Five seconds. Here is Mills on the right wing, and I think they'll just concede. Logan wins it 81-42. to 42. They finally end the, I believe it was a seven game drought and pick up their second win of the season. Their first in the Grack under Charlie Jones in his first year as head coach. We're back in 30.